Gem in 10 Sports Fuchsia's Yeah, you know we wildin' 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 It's that 10 Mint Gem Sports Yeah It's that Gem Mint 10 Sports Yeah Welcome back to Gem Mint 10 Sports I'm Lucky from Lucky Hit Collectibles Joined as always by Scotty from Scotty's Card Shack And Poke from Poke Sport Jag Rips And Josh from Ekman Sports Collectibles Follow us on our respective whatnot and TikTok pages. Follow us also on all music platforms, uh, Audible, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcast. Uh, we're also on YouTube, so make sure to su- subscribe to us there. Just search Jim at 10 Sports and we will pop up. Also, we have a monthly support tab. To be a monthly supporter, click the link below, and we will use your contributions to bring Ekman a brand new camera so he is not as blurry. But how you boys doing? <laughs> doing good. Doing wow. Good. Hey, don't call my boy like that, bro. Hey, got you, man. <laughs> Step your yeah. game up. So, yeah. So, last week, um, Mike, sorry. last week the Phillies were up 3-2, to two, but this week the Houston Astros won the World Series. It's old this news week. now, but last week. But it's old news, but we Let's record on Thursday. Oh. I figured I'd get poke a little from the I'm, I'm all wearing a Guardians uh, shirt. <laughs> Let's go, Strohs. No, hey, man, I'm, 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 in, I'm in Cleveland right now. I got to represent. They didn't uh, – They that team didn't suffer enough. That franchise didn't suffer enough. They needed to lose, like, five World Series before they should have been allowed to win one. You know? Yeah, yeah the Phillies. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so. Yeah, I wanted yeah, the Phillies right to win for sure. I did. I agree with you, I did, too. I, I did, too. Only, only because I just – even though I don't like the Phillies, being a Braves fan, I, I just – I hate the Astros beyond anything. Yeah, yeah. I hate the Phillies too, Scotty. I know, I know how exactly how you feel, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce Harper, man. I wanted Bryce yeah. to get his. Bryce but... Harper's pretty good in the Astros, bro. Uh, Bryce Harper. No, he is. is. Do you guys, do you guys yeah. think the Phillies, is, this was a one-time thing? Like, Do you think they'll make it, they have a good chance of making the next couple years? or? Yeah, maybe like 10 years down the road. Uh, I, you know what? They, they reminded me of the Braves, you know, the year before how uh, the Braves got in and, uh, you know, they, they, they won their division, but they, in a way they kind of snuck in and, uh, they, they just came into the playoffs hot, you know, that's, that's mm-hmm. what, that's what baseball yeah. is about. And the Phillies, you know, they, they caught fire right at the right time and, and rode that all the way to the world series. So good for them. Man, I really hope that, uh, I really hope that the Braves step their game up. Cause I'm like, I said, I'm a Brave fan too. I love, I love the Braves. Been a Braves fan since the nineties. They they just so I, really hope they, um, I know we lost Freddie Freeman, but that don't mean nothing, man. We still got some good players on there. Yeah. But, I, I think uh, that the Phillies can go there. back. I think the Phillies could go back. But the thing about baseball, it's nice actually, uh as opposed to every other sport, there's always a different couple of teams in the World Series. It's not like the same thing every year. It's not boring. Like it's always gonna be something different. But I think the Phillies have a good shot at coming back in a year or two. So Yeah. Yeah, they, they could. They could, but again, I think they they they're not as good as the Braves. I I know they beat the Braves, and people are going to argue about that. But they, I mean, talent wise, they're not as good as the Braves. But again, that doesn't matter in baseball. A, a lot of times, it's just the team that that's hitting good, you know, solid defensively, you know, coming out ready to play, and that's exactly what the Phillies did. And that's that's what baseball is all about, you know. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. So, Absolutely. For so. sure. So do you guys want to go into the first segment with uh, our own? So we're going to skip sports news update this week. And uh, I thought it would be cool for uh, actually Scotty's idea. If we brought up our own personal sports prediction, what we think is going to happen. It could be any sport. So yeah, we'll do personal sports predictions. Scotty, you go first. Okay. All right. It, it's not so much a prediction as much as something I really want to happen. So uh, I don't think judge is going to resign with the Yankees. I think he, I think he leaves. I know. Uh, I think he's going to come back to California. I think he signs with the Giants, who are looking wow. at making a splash in the uh, trader in in the free agency. But this is this is what I'm hoping happens. Okay, I'm well, not hoping, but I think the uh, after after Judge leaves the Yankees, they go all in on Mike Trout and they trade for Mike Trout. I think Whoa. they are in a position right now that they they've been wasting Mike Trout's career and I, I yeah, think it's pretty much. To, I think it's time to let him leave to go compete for a World Series and I think why they do that 
they sh- they trade Shohei to the Dodgers, who have the farm system and the money That's to crazy. get him. And, that and the Dodgers insane. is a, is another organization that's not afraid to spend money. Um, oh, yeah. and, and they're going to do it, and they're going to you know they're probably going to lose Trey Turner. Uh, Clinton Kershaw isn't going to stay young forever. Freddie Freeman, I know he had a great year last year, but he's another year older. I, I could see this happening. So I think Judge to the Giants, Mike Trout to the Yankees. Um, you know, the, the Yankees have a pretty decent farm system. They, they, they're probably going to have to give up a big league, maybe arm. But I, I think I think it's something that can happen. So th- that's not so much as a prediction as much as I just want to see it happening because I think it would be good for baseball to see Trout in the playoffs. And Shohei as well. Yeah, that'd be dope. I, I, they're, they're both way too good of players for them to be playing on a team that's just not going to go anywhere. You know, and, and if the Angels were smart, like I get it, both those players sell tickets now. But if they can rebuild their farm system, the, I mean, the packages that they would get for for Shohei and for Trout, they could be a really good team if, in in you know a couple of years, and they would they wouldn't they won't have to worry about that. They're gonna have to eat it for a couple of years or whatever. But you're not winning games now, so what does it matter? Why don't you try something? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it, it's kind of like you know what? Remember when Calvin Johnson was on the Lions and he wanted to get traded? Barry Sanders didn't want to play on the Lions anymore, and they were just like, no, no, you're gonna stay here. I I I don't. Like it, like if 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 a if a guy is just sitting there, and he he's playing all out for your team, he's carrying you, but you're not winning any games, and they're maybe going to be coming out of their prime. Let them leave to go try to win a championship, because you know these guys it, it means a lot to a lot of these players. So I I hope it happens. It, it probably won't happen. But it would be really, really cool to see, and both the Yankees and the Dodgers, I think, could make it happen. So, that's my that's my prediction yeah. for for next season or over the off season. That's a pretty big prediction, and I would actually love to see all of that happen. I think it would be yeah. good. And if you put uh, Shohei on the Dodgers, um, yeah, he, I mean, he still hits because he's in the National League at that point, right? So he still bats when he's he's playing. So. And he gets to stay in California. He gets to stay in LA, you know, like yep. he doesn't have to go anywhere. And I, you know, he's in a new, new country. I know he's been here for a few years, but you know, he doesn't have to move to any part anywhere else. He, he gets to stay put, you know, and like I said, the Dodgers are not That's afraid that. to make things happen like that. I think sure. as a, as a card collector, uh, that's going to make a lot of Otani and uh, Trout fans happy because, I think Otani and Trout, like like you said, they're struggling at the Angels that they can only do what they can do. Well, if they, for them to get to that next, like, to go over is compete for a World Series. Yeah, I mean, and think I about think it. that's going to help their help their cards and help their market just jump that much more. They can get on a team that actually has a chance to move along in the playoffs a little bit. Yeah, because think, yeah. think about it. I mean, Shohei had one of the best seasons we've ever seen out of an individual person. Yep. You know, on, and it's just like... And what did what did the Angels do? They did nothing, you know. And yeah. I know Mike Trout had a little bit of, of health issues, and I know he has a back issue. And if I was the Angels, it'd be like, okay, well, we're not winning right now. Let's 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 just let these guys go do their thing. But for card collecting, like you were saying, Ekman, could you imagine Mike Trout in a Yankee uniform and then Shohei in a Dodger uniform? What that would do for the yeah. card industry, as far as like those two players. Oh, th- their cards yep. would immediately skyrocket. Immediately skyrocket. Oh, yeah. I I can say right now, I, as a Mike Trout rookie card owner, I'm really hoping that happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I have I have one of my first cards I ever got. Obviously, I told you like one of the first episodes I was ever on was a Trout rookie and a free box of baseball cards I got. So I'm holding on to that, hoping something happens, and then when he retires, it'll probably skyrocket. There you go. Yep. yep. There you go. Definitely a hold. Who's next? Who's going next? Who's going to top that prediction? Next. Who's talking about it? Gonna that? Uh, it's going to be Poke or what? Wait, you're not ready. Poke. If, if Poe's going to do this, my prediction. If is... Poe's going to do this, <laughs> Poke. <laughs> All right, Scotty. Shout out to my wife, April, the monthly supporter for buying those gloves for Poke. All right, Poke. <laughs> I'm I'm ready. Do what? I'm ready, Poke. <laughs> <laughs> So 
so you hey, that's the glove that pulls fire, man. So what was your prediction? <laughs> I, got, I gotta wear the glove. You wanna go you wanna go you, know you wanna go last or you wanna go now? I'll go now. All right. Um my prediction right now is that I hope you all you guys right now collect Jeremy Pena while you can. I know all the cards are gone up right now, but it doesn't matter. Cause I, I have a I have a prediction that Astros are gonna take the W again next year. Nope, I'm you selling. Wait. I'm selling. Uh, the Astros are gonna take the World Series again go, next year. Watch, I, I'm gonna predict. I gotta go again. through my stuff. I'm selling any pinya, any pinya I have right now. I'm selling. <laughs> right now? Yep. It, it, it's a buyer. Look, <laughs> what do I always say? He's a buyer. <laughs> you you take you you sell guys at what could be their possible peak. He just he just got done winning the World Series. His name just got thrown out huge. Like right now, his his cards are, are are booming. It's time to sell. Then you wait for the hype to go down at the beginning of the baseball season when it always does. You wait for him mm-hmm. to slump during the season. Every every player goes through a slump. Wait for him to pretty slump. much. People call him a bust. You rebuy. That's that's what you do. Huh. That's how the game goes. Yeah, that. But yeah, man. Like I said, that's my prediction, man. Um, that'd be crazy, man. If the Astros, Astros take it again, bro, that back. would be insane. And everyone that did buy uh, Jeremy uh, Pena cards, uh, they're definitely gonna skyrocket. I tell you that much right now. Yep. I didn't. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't expect that from him, bro. And he got MVP, which is crazy. See, I he actually did pretty good. I told for you, being a rookie, man, he did really well. I told. Remember what I was saying all through the playoffs. You want to collect. Like going into the playoffs, you want to collect rookies on teams rookies. because you, that that that's that's gonna happen. There's always gonna be that one rookie that's gonna stand out, and his cards are gonna skyrocket. Facts. And this year, it was Pena. Yep. But I like that prediction, though, Poke. I do. I like it. I like the prediction. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, though. We'll see, man. We'll see. Or the Braves. I would love to see the Braves. It's been a while. How long has it been? How, how long has it been for the Braves? Since what? Oh, it's been a long time. Like what? Six years? Yeah. Around there, poke since the hit, poke, right? Poke, we're about to kick you off this podcast. <laughs> hey, Scotty, how about you sit down, bro? Oh my God, you know the Braves are right. the twenty. <laughs> the Braves beat the Astros in the twenty twenty one World Series. Nah, bro, I, I was I was waiting for you, you to say you that. Don't you don't know remember why? that? That was an off year. You don't remember the that. Braves. That was an off year. <laughs> I'll go next. That was, yeah, that was an off year. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't here yet. Hey, I wasn't born well, at yet. At least we won without trash cans. So, ooh, wow. right, lucky you go football. <laughs> I am wow. going football. All right, I'm a, I, I don't know if you're gonna have mine, but we'll see. I'm going football too. So go ahead. If we have the same one without talking, that'd be pretty wild. I, but I all right, here. All right, I don't have much method of this except for this. I wrote it down August tenth on my phone and i just had a feeling that these two teams were going to be in the super bowl i also had a feeling what the score was going to be and who the winner was going to be let's start off with Let me find josh out. allen's going to be the mvp this year agree or disagree oh of course well I he's, disagree he's about to be oh on gosh. he's about to he, he might not even make the rest of the season yeah he's he's injured that is, <laughs> look at look his face really elbow. Yeah. He, it, yep. Yeah. Something wrong with his elbow, but this, he has he had the same. This is his last game, I think. He's got pretty much the same injury he had. I think it was in 2018, um, in his in his elbow that sidelined him for four weeks. Now, the, of course, the Bills are trying to completely downplay it and say that he yeah. can play through it. And, and he's gonna it, be all right. I, he's gonna be all right, be all right. But the problem with elbow injuries is that you got to let them heal. It's it's not. Uh, he's got. He's gonna have to take. He's gonna have to take some time off. I, the Bills will be fine because they have such a good defense, and I think they can plug someone in there to, to do all right. My, Chase Keenum. Yeah. My my only concern <laughs> is they're gonna have to try to run the ball a little bit more. So we'll see if if Singletary can can get it going. But um. All right, say all say right. in a perfect world, Lucky, that he's, he's going to be all right because you know what? Yeah, this yes, vision, he would be MVP if he's going to play the rest. of The, the vision did not come to me for no reason, so it's going to happen. He's going to be all right. <laughs> all he's right. going to win the MVP, and the Bills are going to go to the Super Bowl and face the Philadelphia Eagles, and the score is going to be thirty-four to twenty-four. Bills win. Eagles lose in the first. Or Eagles lose their first playoff game. You heard no it right way. here. Clip that. 
clip, clip, clip that it. right there. Eagles, Eagles lose, lose their first playoff game. Their first playoff And then whenever game. they don't lose, then Scott will be so wrong. He won't. I have a feeling there's that, no uh, way they're losing the first playoff game. No, no way. way. They're gonna they're gonna get a first round. Tom Brady they're gonna get a first round by, and they're gonna play a team that was hurt. Look at I know we talked about the Eagles uh last week and you know talking about that they're gonna do but look at records don't always indicate how good of a football team you are. Okay. The one thing that the Eagles haven't been, they haven't been very battle tested yet. Okay. Mm. They 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 don't really have that hard of a schedule. Now you you're, you're going to tell me that they're they're going to play someone like I, I know a lot of people argue this right now, but let's say a, hel- a healthier San Francisco 49ers team. Yes, I am a San Francisco fan, <laughs> but I'm not being biased. Okay? You That's not biased at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's not biased. Hey, at I'm all. not I'm not saying they're going to win I mean, the Scotty, Super Bowl or anything like I'm that. But like- look. The the one thing that the 49ers like they have is they they they've they've been already through all these playoffs. Okay, they have the defense that can stop. And they play mobile quarterbacks all the time. You know they had to play Russell Wilson year after year. Now he's gone, and but they have to deal with Kyle Murray. You know, and the 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 only the, my only problem is that like San Francisco doesn't have great corners right now because obviously they're, they're beat up. They just lost Verrett who was supposed to come back from injury. They lost mostly for the year. But my thing is that, do you think the Eagles, when, when the 49ers sit there, cause if you look at, if you look at the Eagles, their first half, their second quarter, they're the best second quarter team in the NFL. Go look at their second half. When, when teams make the adjustment at halftime, they don't do quite so good in the second half. Okay. So if they don't jump out to that huge lead, they're going to have a hard time winning. Okay. The 49ers yeah, do can sit there and they can run on anyone. They could eat up the clock. They're about to get Elijah Mitchell back. So like if you put the Eagles up against someone like that, a team that can go toe to toe with them on the offense of side, but have a better defense, but also have a better defense, they, they could win. And I know Tampa Bay has been terrible. I think Tampa Bay is going to turn it around in the second half. Uh, bold prediction. They sign Odell Beckham. I think I think they might they might get him, but yeah, I'm. I mean, that, yeah, they I, could. I don't think that I don't think that helps helps or hurts them though. Yeah, they already have like three good wide receivers. Yeah, but the problem has been has been people been been banged up. But look, I, I well, that's true. Yeah. I understand Philadelphia hasn't lost a game, but doesn't mean that they're like the best team in the NFL. You're gonna tell me that if you threw them in the AFC, they'd be undefeated. No, I think they, they would have suffered a defeat by now. Pete, though, yeah. So I, yeah, they would have. Yeah, they some have. some teams are just they're they're just products of their of their schedule, you know. And and I'm not I'm not saying that them being undefeated because of like not such a song. It's still really good to go eight now eight and zero. Um, do you guys remember a couple of years ago when the when the Steelers? I think they started off what nine. I was just gonna say what, that. What was yeah. it? Nine and zero. Eleven and zero. Eleven and zero. What happened in the playoffs? Yeah, they lost first round. They got crushed by the Browns because they ha- by Baker they had a, they had a weak schedule. That that's why th- all their schedule was yeah, bad. In, um, it, it, but Jalen Hurts to credit the Eagles, Jalen Hurts and their offense is way better than the Steelers and their offense. And, yeah, no, and and the Eagles defense is not that. No, bad. it's not. Like, they're it's, actually a decent it's defense not. right now. Look at, I. I they have a chance to go undefeated. I, I do. I still think that they lose in Dallas. I, I still think that happens. But I, as far as your prediction they, goes, lucky. I just don't think they the beat Eagles Dallas make, already. Basically, he's yeah. saying your prediction. No, terrible. no, they I'm beat, not. I'm not. That's what he's I'm saying. Not. Your prediction is awful. I just like to argue with people. <laughs> is they beat the Cowboys already. I ain't worried yeah, about it. In in Philadelphia. Guys, does anyone the know next, when Aaron Rodgers is going to retire? Next, the, the next <laughs> I, I game that I'm worried about from them, because the Eagles will beat the Commanders, will beat the Colts, they're going to beat the Packers, they're going to beat the Titans. Worried a little bit about the Giants, but then they're going to beat the Bears. They're going to yep. beat the Cowboys again. They're going to beat the Saints. It, yep. they, they might only lose two games this season. And then there's a thing called momentum. I think the momentum is going to carry them in that Not when the, they have the first huge winning five. season. No way. That momentum is going to – because it's going to be in their head. They're going to be hungry. I promise you. Nope. Write it yeah. down. If you're listening to the podcast, comment in the comments anywhere you're listening or watching on YouTube. 
I say Bills beat Eagles 34-24 in the Super Bowl. You tell me if that's a solid prediction or if you agree with it, but I'm going with that. Yes. I'll give you one lucky. Mac Jones, Super Bowl. You're out of your mind. All right, you get out of here with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. He should be Hold banned. On. Banned for the rest of the life. He's going to be packing groceries us. like wait, his bro. name was no, Kurt wait. Warner in 2024. I just, I just muted him. <laughs> <laughs> Cut him off. Oh, oh, no. How do I get him back? Oh, oh. dude. Well, hopefully you can get him back. I'll get him back. Anyway, Josh, go ahead with your prediction while I fix poke here. All right. All oh, right. man, you just ruined this so, whole thing. My prediction is the <laughs> NFC South. Is he, can you get him yeah, back? Yeah, we'll get him back. Po- you know click the mic right back? here. Click the mic over here. I can get him back. Don't worry. You, you keep going, Josh. I'll, I'll mess with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I know when he comes back, he's going to be talking hey, about Should I talk to him so, like we can hear him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds good, Poke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Poke. Mike Jones to Poke. the moon. Poke Mike the the moon. mic. Click the mic. Go ahead, Josh. I'll text Poke. It'll be all right. On the screen, right. yeah, on the screen. So my prediction is the NFC South is like now the, the <laughs> NFC East. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, all right, all right, hold on, all right, hold on. That's all. Oh, he's he's you. I, I, I turned it on. on a, I, I turned okay. it back on an Espanol. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Ekman, 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 start, start over with your prediction. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Start over. All right. all right. My prediction is the NFC South is now the NFC East of the NFL. So, <laughs> NFC South, the Buccaneers, Falcons, Saints, Panthers are all terrible. My prediction is Tom Brady is going to the playoffs. He's going to make his run through the playoffs against a bunch of weak QBs, probably, and Daniel Jones. Geno Smith is probably going to make the playoffs. Probably beat them. He'll be in the Super Bowl, probably against the Bills and the Chiefs, and he'll win in his next Super yeah. Bowl. I like it. No, that I, wow. It's crazy, but it's crazy, but it's not it's not complete yeah, unrealistic. It's not. It's not. Cause it's it, not. all the if they get to the playoffs, see the thing with the Buccaneers is I think they just gotta get to the playoffs. Once they get to the playoffs, they become a contender just because of their yeah, experience. There is, there is team <laughs> You know people could read that, right? <laughs> No, <laughs> oh, they can't read that. <laughs> no, keep going. No, but but I like that prediction because that 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 is true. There, there's a lot of teams that like they squeak into the playoffs, but and they're built for the playoffs. They're 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 built yep. for it, and they they just they just know how to win. And the one thing Tom Brady does is he wins in the playoffs. Like it doesn't. Remember when the Saints? Remember when the Saints got into the playoffs at eight and nine? Uh, at w- how long that was when yeah. um what year was that but that was when marshawn lynch had that absolutely crazy <laughs> crazy crazy uh run yeah yep yeah yep. so wait no i'm sorry it wasn't the saints it was the seahawks no wow. I'm sorry so anyways the seahawks yeah. made it with a losing record and and people argued about how that that shouldn't be and then they went in and they beat the saints so Come playoffs, yep. anything can happen. And when you're Tom Brady, when you're yeah. Tom Brady, it, anything can definitely. Yeah, I, I like that prediction. This is not the same Tom Brady, though. You guys are going off of what he used to be. It's not. Yeah. He is. This is the this divorce, Tom Brady. has took a toll on him. I don't think he's hey, mentally hey, going to be fault, there, though, man. He could, he's two and oh. He just is retired, bro. He's he didn't have to go since, since they since they since the divorce. Just want to let that known. Yeah, man, but he didn't look. He didn't have to go out okay, there. Who and try did to get he play? Ring, who bro. did he play? Who did he beat? Hey, Let's look at the schedule. Hey, we're just talking about the <laughs> the the Philadelphia being eight and zero, not beating no one, and you got them in the Super Bowl. So it doesn't matter who they beat. Oh, you like Ooh. that one? Those like, fighting yeah. words, lucky. All right. Fight so right those now. two games, they beat. Fight them. They, like, oh, he's not two and zero, brother. Since the divorce. Yeah, he's not two. Lost to the, the Ravens, but they beat the Rams. Right. But the Rams are, you know. They're, they're not as good as they were last year. And I bet he loses a Geno Smith Sunday. Nah. They beat they beat the Seahawks. <laughs> nah. The hey, man, Seahawks are the most overachieving in, team in the NFL oh, right now. Probably did. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the the Seahawks are the most overachieving team in the NFL right now. They're good. 
Yeah, I mean, I think I think they're on a high right now. I think they have the I think they have the biggest chance of all the good teams right now to fall apart. Yeah, I do. I do agree with that. Because once Geno Smith, if Geno Smith starts not playing good at all, they're done. They're done yeah. for. When 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 the Geno Smith of old pops out and says, "Hey, I was just kidding. I'm not really that good," then yeah, yeah, this is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Yo, uh, who ha- who has more knowledge in, in in basketball? You lucky or? It depends or, or what you're gonna ask. Yeah, what's what's up with Kyrie? Uh, what's what? Uh, Kyrie. What about him? What's up with him? I mean, he's got. A... He supposedly, yeah, I thought I saw I saw today something about it, that he was in a that can can Nike uh, Nike let him Nets go, it. huh? Nike yeah. let him go as a sponsor. Really? But what did he do? He made though? some I mean, uh, I really anti-Semitic it, remarks. But... I can't remember if it's on Twitter or an interview, but. Um, uh, no, he um he reposted a thing from Amazon, like a a show or a movie or something, and it what? had anti-Semitic like views or something. I think, and he didn't. Even, I don't think he even meant to post it about that. I don't. I didn't really look into it. I don't try to get into yeah. too much of that. Yeah, because they were like, "Is um yeah. is a team better off with Kyrie?" I'm like, "Oh, what happened?" Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think right now he he has like seven things that he has to do to be able to come back to the, the Nets, Nets or something. We never talk the, about basketball. That's one thing I thought was it, it, sports. <laughs> what? The, the, hey, let's talk about golf or hockey with stuff that we don't know hey, about. I'm a the Nets, about golf the, the Nets are a team. Uh, see, the Nets are a team where they right. brought together Kyrie and Kevin Durant, and everything was going to be so great there, and it was like the worst thing ever. <laughs> like nothing ever good came of that. I mean. They were just, and then they just fired Steve Nash. So there's that. Oh yeah. So I actually watched a video today with uh, Steve Nash and um uh, and uh, Kobe. That was I mean, such yeah. a sick video, man. I, I kind of I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I miss, I miss Kobe. Oh yeah. I miss Kobe, man. It was fun watching him straight up. All right. So we all had our predictions. So we hey. want to move on to market. Well, go ahead. Hold on. Before going to market, there was a, a story I wanted to talk about real quick, uh, it, real fast. So I, I just saw this TikTok. Uh, so this guy for Halloween with candy, he was handing out sports cards. He, he had bought a really? hobby box. Yeah. And he was handing them out yeah. to kids. Yeah, I saw that. Some kid hit a massive Juan Soto and he, he paid the kid cash for it right then and there. Wow. And it, they didn't say how much. No but way. They, said it was, they didn't say how, how much. How much? But he, I guess he made nah. the kid a really good offer, is what I was told. Well, not me. Oh, the kid's the retired or anyway. Yeah, but he, he, <laughs> he, he the kid he, retired. He, he paid good value for the card. I, I thought that was awesome. Like, dude, imagine that. Imagine just being some kid. You walk up to some guy and he hands you a pack of cards. You open it in front of him. You hit some massive card and he hands you a bunch of cash. You know what I mean? Puts like, it in your uh, puts it in your pumpkin bucket. All right, yeah, kid. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I, I, and that's a bold. That's a bold move because I feel like most kids are going to be like, "What are you handing me cards for?" I want. You know, candy. I I don't know. It 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 seems like a a lot of kids knows what it is. I'm sure he wasn't sitting there handing them to five year olds. Maybe he was maybe a little bit older of kids. Maybe like that. But I I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Bro, he probably ripped that kid off, dude. That kid didn't know what he pulled. <laughs> they I'll give you ten bucks like for that a kid. Thousand dollar card. That sounds like something. That's a poke move for sure. I'll give, I'll give you a fucking you know move. What? You gotta think about it. If someone's just handing out stuff like that, and then he turns around and he offers to buy the card like from you, like I, I think that's probably a pretty decent guy. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No one's. Yeah. I know. No one's Scotty. You probably rip off that oh, kid. Like, oh. <laughs> you probably be like, yo, I'll give oh, you a dollar like, for that oh, kid. Is that just a? Oh, that's just base. Here, here's a dollar. <laughs> That's just Bates. <laughs> hey, I gave you the wrong out. pack. Oh, that came out of my my bad, dude. My bad. All right. But yeah, yeah. I thought that That's was a messed up, bro. Feel good story. So I, I like that. That that kind of makes me want to do it, but oh, I, like I, I don't think I could do it because I know no, that no, no, my luck, like, I'll right. do it. There'll be a hit in there, but if I open it myself, there won't be a hit in there. Look, hold up. Did he open the pack right there and I then? I love my like, daughter. I love my grandkids. Other than that, yeah. nope, ain't no one else getting nothing. That's crazy. There you go. <laughs> How old are you? How old? <laughs> All right, Josh, you ready to go into uh, market old movies? Enough to, old enough to be your dad, Poke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> All right, let's go into market no. movers. <laughs> are you this, my this is getting weird. Yeah, so. Oh, wait up. hold up, hold up. Lucky, I found your dad, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> Scotty was your dad the whole time. I'm sorry, son. All right. I got lost on the way to find that milk. I'm sorry, man, Scotty. That was, that was, was a good like, one. Was a good like one. The, the viewers have no idea, but we know. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> we, we know. It's an inside it, joke. It's, it's one of those if you hey, know. Hey, y'all do know. look alike, though. I'm not going to lie. Y'all do look alike. Right, Eggman? They look alike. Well, they're the same height, bro. Yeah, I was just saying they're the same height, so, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Poppy? We can't hear you guys up here, so, okay, go ahead, market movers. You want to go get cigarettes? Just kidding. So, market movers, what I have actually is more of like a pop report, so for PSA. Can you guys guess how many items, this is sports or Pokemon, whatever it is, how many PSA graded in the one month of October? And, one million. And a rough guess. 950,000. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that, Perk. <laughs> Post like, are we recording? <laughs> I, I was actually very surprised, Scotty. I, I was surprised you were so close. I got one million. One million forty-seven thousand four hundred and thirteen. So, so what how's that close, Paul? And and they were down. They're down three percent compared to September. So in um September or yeah, it was October for a three percent dip compared to September and a sixty-four percent increase compared to September in twenty twenty-one. So right now, I think you're seeing the decline of the hobby from when it was like during covid and stuff and now it's kind of maybe slowing down a little bit but um but yeah so like and do you guys know what sports or pokemon or whatever it was do you think you know which ones would have been the top three pokemon rated cards from like PSA? individual player or sports or pokemon non sport or sport no individual sport yeah sport uh, pokemon say, and I'm baseball go soccer You had to have read no, something, no, didn't I, you, Scotty? No, nope. for real. He's all like this. He's all typing. He's all like well, soccer. So the top two categories: baseball and basketball, both declined hockey, in October. Hockey went up. While football, hockey soccer, and hockey didn't. Yeah, didn't, and hockey well, went up. It wait a minute! I like thought Pokemon just, was going up. Like you just knew and that. I think you, I want to. I want to predict that football. Football is <laughs> down like twenty nine percent or something like that. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> no. no, it's up one percent. Yes, Scotty. Um, fun fact, you know what PSA just started doing? They just started grading Funko Pops now. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I wonder how that's that, going to yeah. be, but. There's a couple other weird things. That would be, be a cool segment to find out, yeah, some weird things PSA has graded, because I've seen some other things that they've Who graded. Who are you talking to, Poke? You're, you're acting crazy. like this is our text message thread where, like, you just start talking to yourself and no one's responding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sending codes, bro. I ain't trying to have you. I ain't trying to have you respond. This is man. like this is like like Anyways, the three man, adults are going up, like to yeah, do uh, something, and like we brought the kid along. Who's just like, what about Aaron Rodgers? Look at nah, my notes. Aaron, when's he gonna retire? <laughs> we don't talk about basketball. <laughs> hey, hold on. First of all, first of all. You drink that water like a girl. <laughs> and second of all, <laughs> second of all, let's talk about let's talk about Scotty the way he's sitting down right now. He's probably not even sitting down in the chair right now. I'm standing up. Uh, and then up. he's probably standing up straight up. I'm standing I, up. I promise you, Scotty's standing up right now. Tippy toes. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, tippy toes. <laughs> I got, I think we, we need to, think bathroom, we need to give a shout out to. Uh, Lucky over there with uh, Justin Fields setting a new record. What's the record? Most rushing yards. Uh, we, we, we do, we do nothing but break records uh, in Chicago. Uh, just remind everyone what that record is for those that don't know. Nah, bro. Uh, not winning games. <laughs> what? The <laughs> yeah. Justin Fields I, I know what it is. Just, you know, let everyone yeah, else know. Uh, 100 oh, most rushing yards in one game. Uh, he passed yeah. Michael Vick. I That's my he, dog. On yeah, that 60 like yard. Stuff. On that sixty yard That's run, my that, dog. he made that thing. He was so fast with that. I thought it was a thirty yard run. Justin Fields is turning the corner here. This uh, I, as he as he's playing, he's getting better and better this year. Hey, uh, I think it, he's bro. yeah. Cop he's it. starting to become more of a okay. Lamar Jackson. Where it, he's not it's funny that you say that. Game. He's throw for hundred yards. It's a funny game. that you say that because I was talking to Matt earlier. Uh, not 
was it today or was it yesterday? I don't know. Apparently, they reached out to the Baltimore's Ravens, and they and they're going to start using mm-hmm. Justin Fields like how they use Lamar Jackson. Maybe they were just using. I don't think. Well, everyone yep. knew it wasn't Fields wasn't the problem. He you wasn't. Know, the talent, yeah, the talent, talent's always been there. Um, but yeah, at least now maybe they're start going to maybe. Maybe they're going to start using him right, and hey, you yeah. know what? And they cleared up like a hundred million dollars of cap space, so we're going to pick up a lot of stuff to help him out in the off season. Mm-hmm. So I'm not worried. I am a little worried that we gave up some of our big pieces on defense because now I kind of have a feeling next year we're going to see a high powered offense, and our defense is going to be lacking a little bit. That's what I'm I'm predicting, but. Yeah, I think that uh, they're going to make some good moves. You just got to uh, build up the offensive line a little bit. You got to give them a couple more weapons, maybe one more good weapon. You got Chase Claypool, who's not terrible. So, I mean, you know, it'll be all right. Now you got you guys need that true number one wide receiver. Yeah. True, true, like a true number one. Um, yeah. And Mooney and, and Claypool are, are good two and three. But you guys yeah. need that true no, true number one. Mm-hmm. So. Maybe, maybe I, there's a rumor about that. That could happen. He, he he's he's gonna look at. So he coming off that injury, obviously someone's just gonna sign him to the one year deal. So he'll be a free agent at the end of the year. So so you could yeah. you could see it maybe, but it, at at his point in the career, he may not be looking to help a team out as far as like coming up. He'll probably be looking for like a team that's already ready to go. Yeah. Just so he can get. I mean, you never know. You never know. Guys, what about uh, what about Justin Herbert though? Why is he still hyped up or not? Or is just all he's, the hype? He's actually that's a good one for market movers. He's uh, declining Which is stupid. right now on his card sales. Look at that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna look right he now. He doesn't bro. have any wideouts right now. He's he... yeah, he has nothing good. All his wideouts are hurt. Keenan yeah. Allen's hurt. Josh Palmer is about his average is yeah. his best ones. Josh, Josh Palmer is about as average as they come. And then they had all those drop passes last week. Yeah. So, but yeah. I don't mind. Because now he's going to play San Francisco. Yeah, I, 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 I think he's a, I think he's a big buy right now. Now I can, I can, now I can afford his uh, slabs. <laughs> well, they're not a dollar, Coke. <laughs> no, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott, how about you stand up and sit back down, bro? Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, how about you take another sip of that drink, like a girl, bro? Hey, um, Eggman. So, what else is on the news? Um, I don't think I have anything else there for the news. Uh, Christian McCaffrey's still killing it. He's still like top three right now, I Jeffrey think, Hill? or top four. Hey, if uh, he has another monster, oh, okay. monster game yeah, he's against still a very, it. very terrible, terrible rush defense uh, of the Chargers. He 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 could go off again yeah. this week. He could. He could score another three yep. touchdowns. I I could see it happening. Yeah, against that. If he could stay healthy, if he could stay healthy the rest of the year, and they can make a pretty yeah. decent run in the playoffs, his cards po- could just pause real so quick. High hey, real Poke, high. can you move your Hannibal Lecter breathing away from that, that mic? All I hear is. <laughs> 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 My God. Hey. <laughs> Dude, I, bro, I, I've always worried about me Cheetos, doing that. Bro, I'm chill a, out, man. Let me breathe, breathe a little like bit. I've always no, worried about hey, that. Ever lucky. since you found out the hey, Herbert Eggman. cards went what? down, you've been like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scotty, grown man talking here, bro. Let's let me, me and Lucky right now, man. Leave me alone now. Talk about grown men. Don't give him that much credit. He's 5'7". First off, me and Eggman. What's that? No, How about you get your son? You. How about you get First your son, off, Scotty? And get on that. Me and Ekman come I mean, from lucky, the same trailer park. Here. I'll, I'll have you know that. So watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Nine hey, on, on that note, I don't want it to go too long, and uh, I want to end it. Uh, I want to end this podcast with this. So, Josh Ekman on Ekman Sports Collectibles. All right, man. Um, I believe he's going to start uh, looking at selling some autograph mini helmets, some autograph jerseys, which I'm pretty hype about. And uh, for the YouTube viewers. I mean, we'll describe it to Spotify and Audible, but you're going to open one of these helmets or what? Yeah, yeah. Give me – who's good at picking numbers? Give me a number through one through five. Yo, six. (laughs) (laughs) We'll go with six. We'll go with six. One, two. For anybody on YouTube, you two can see this. There you go. We got the TriStar Hidden Treasures autographed mini helmets. (laughs) Open one up here. See what we got in here. Yeah, 
getting these at Dave and Buster's. So, anybody so, uh, so all you Dave listeners Buster's out there, this is football, games? right? This is football. Devonte Adams. This is football. Yes. Devontae Prediction. Devontae Adams. Sorry, Eggman. I didn't know you were. Because you're breathing out of Mike. My bad, bro. Mike. It's either you're. Hey, it's the water, bro. Or you're the whole time. One of the He's going to be halfway opening this autograph helmet, and Pope's hey. going to be like, Yo, what about hey. Michael Jordan, bro? Anyone got a name about Michael Jordan? <laughs> hey, Pope, you're getting a Yo, little guys, too close to that. About, hey, you're getting um, a little too close to that. Mike, I'm going to pay you $5, man. I'm going to need you to back up. <laughs> All right, so I got right. this out here. Let's, let's, I'm gonna say let that Josh open this. this only you. This only crazy. you would say that. This isn't crazy. I will say it is a college helmet. Um, I'm going to give you some uh, little selections here to see if you guys can guess this. It's going to be harder probably. He's a two-time Pro Bowl selection, an 86 Davy O'Brien Award, 86 Walter Camp Award, 86 Maxwell Award, 86 Heisman Trophy winner. That's probably the best one you can get there. 46,000 career NFL passing yards. College Football Hall of Fame in 2013, Whoa. and he mm. played for Miami. And he got Miami like, College or Miami football Miami. team, like My, Miami Warren College. Moon? Miami College. Eighty. Or my way off base. Dude, I was like, I was like four years old, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that it's is actually nice. a sweet looking helmet. Many test for thirty. Haven't Damn heard that name in a long time. No, and it's. It is, let me see here. This should be, let's see if it's, oh, no, it's, it says it on this, I think. PSA authenticated. It no should say it on the back of the helmet. Yeah, but it, is, it should be on the back of the authenticated. helmet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, authenticated nice. by TriStar. So by, so you can get these, these TriStar helmets, you can get them authenticated. They're either come PSA, Beckett. JSA or TriStar, which PSA obviously we all know PSA, but JSA I've bought JSA memorabilia that's pretty good. Um, Beckett's obviously top of the line, and then this TriStar uh, seems pretty good too. So I mean, yeah. So mini helmet. I mean, if you collect mini helmets, I think uh, they're going to be a good nice. seller. Um, I know I I know I'm going to be getting baseballs. I'm going to be getting uh, some baseballs, some maybe some mini helmets out to you guys. Uh, so anybody that watches Poke Stream or Scotty or uh, Lucky or myself, uh, just watch out for that. If you guys like to collect memorabilia, and hopefully we can start. Right, bringing yeah, it's going to be dope, man. So yeah, excited ahead, man. to see. I mean, if you go yeah, to Ekman Sports Collectibles out. and you pull a Tom Brady jersey autograph, that guy's not that good. So you can just donate that to Lucky Hit oh, Collectibles. Yeah. We'll take that. So yeah, yeah, I'll be a, Poke's a buy <laughs> yeah, for a dollar. The joke on that Poke's is that Poke, the joke on that is like. <laughs> Poke is Poke is one of the guys that will go into your live and ask you what you got for a dollar, man. <laughs> <laughs> guys, that is and, not true. And nobody understands that's frowned upon. Scott is the one who goes <laughs> money. into people's lives and be like, hey, what would it take for me to get that? that, that that's right. I'm the guy that goes in there and, and I'm not talking about money. money wise. Yeah. Scott is that kind of guy. Well, I guess I'll mark this podcast as explicit things. content moving forward. <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we all like to joke around here, guys. Please leave a comment in here. Uh, you guys already know I'm the CEO. Um, You're not even the CEO uh, of your Eggman own house. the vice list. president. <laughs> and uh, how about you get yourself out of here? Hey, and uh, my boy Lucky, he is the one who created all this. But The CFO. The CEO. You're the chief financial <laughs> officer because I know you'll penny you pinch to the street, best of them. Hey, so you know I appreciate that. What is a hey, what is it from it's the office? A, the a, assistant regional manager to like the assistant regional manager or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, assistant to the regional. Yeah, uh, that's you, man. That's Scotty right there. That's Scotty right there. It, it's how we keep right. you around. Make that's you Scotty important. and Lucky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna edit your whole thing out of this yeah. anyway. So, hey Eggman, what did I tell you about agreeing with these guys? Eggman, we're supposed to be on the same team, bro. I agree uh-huh. with everybody. Hey, Trailer brothers stick together. <laughs> Someone get their man. Sometimes, sometimes I figure it's just better just to agree, even when maybe you don't hear whatever you're right. saying. Believe yeah, me, you if, if mic, the viewers, uh, like, if the viewers you, understood, you, if the viewers understood what I had to go through in the text message chain, when you wake up and you have like a hundred texts to go through to oh, find guys, out what's going on, Eggman be texting everybody at it us- five in the usually morning. Po- usually it's usually it's talking at a time. Man. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, you get a text message from Poke. What are you guys doing? 
I wake up to uh, Scotty and Lucky yeah. talking to themselves every one, morning. One time, like, yo, we're trying one to time sleep Pope here. texted yep. good night to the it. boys. He's like, good night, boys. We're like, all right, talk to you tomorrow. An hour later, I get a um, notification. Poker Sport Jeg Rips invites you to watch his live. I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell this one box I got. Yeah. I decided, hey, he I said, said, he said, bro, I decided I, to go live. Is that okay, Lucky? He said, Dang, I said good night. And then I went to Target mom? and they had like 20 blasters. So I bought one. I figured I'd try to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any, anyone got anything else? Thank you, mom. Nah. nah, guys. Thank y'all again for watching. Uh, please donate. Please donate so I yeah. can get a new mic. We had the. A headset too. We have the listener support so, yeah, tab. Like so headset. down below, you can click that. You can join my oh, wife, brother. April, who first supporter. We already bought one glove uh, that Scotty's got over there. So um, my, my wife is uh, our monthly supporter right now. But there could be many more. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Doesn't be a bunch of gloves that in would the background be of Scotty's room. <laughs> what the heck? But uh, yeah, you can follow us on all of our. Guys, if y'all want to see more yeah. gloves, like you can that, follow us all on our TikTok streams. pages, our whatnot pages, uh, here on YouTube, um, Jim Mint Ten Sports, um, anywhere you can find uh, Audible, Spotify, all that good stuff. Just search Jim Mint Ten Sports and uh, give us some support. Uh, other than that, appreciate everyone, uh, you know, liking and subscribing this week, and uh, we're just getting started. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys uh, next week. Yeah. All right. We'll see you. Do it, guys. Bye. Bye.